Hello and welcome to the tour of the Inception interface. Inception has been created to allow you to explore design ideas and edit the designs that are completely backed by code. Let me show you around. First thing you see is an Explorer interface. Here we have a bunch of designs we have generated just to show you what's possible. You can remix those designs by clicking Remix button or you can open the app. Let's open the app. In the app, first thing you will see is canvas. I will create a new canvas for you so you can see the blank canvas, what it looks like. On this canvas, first thing you see is a bunch of example prompts you can experiment with. For example, if I click on this one, the prompt is being inserted into the input and now you can send it and generate the design. If you hit plus, you will see a bunch of styles. These styles are predefined themes that come with layout, colors, and other things, but these are not templates. These are styles that will be followed by the AI tendentially. It's not going to look exactly as on the picture. Then you have options for choosing different emotions, different colors, and different layouts. You can zoom in and out on canvas, using the menu or the shortcuts. And you can choose to generate many frames at once so that you can explore faster. In the menu, you can choose to create the frame, open the projects dialog, go to your account settings or check your balance. If you click on projects, you will see a bunch of projects I have already created. And I can choose to go into one project, for example, and in these projects, I have boards. Boards allow me to group all the frames together. For example, on this board, I have a bunch of designs I have generated last time. I can edit them and I can create new ones here as well. If I choose a design and want to look inside of that design, beyond the small window I have here, there are several options. One option is to resize the frame. Another option is to double click and by doing so you are entering interaction mode. In interaction mode you can scroll and see everything inside of it. You can enter interaction mode also by clicking this button or exit the interaction mode. You can also exit interaction mode by scrolling the canvas outside of the frame. You can also exit interaction mode by clicking outside of the frame or by hitting the shortcut which is option once you are on a frame, you have several functions here as well. Let's start with the menu. You can copy the code in HTML and Tailwind CSS format. You can copy the code for Web Studio Builder to insert in Web Studio Builder. You can share this frame with anyone outside of uh, Inception without having them to log in. For example, if I click on it, a new window is opened and I see the design on a full screen window and I can share this link by copying it and pasting it to whoever needs to access it. You can report a problem if you see one. And you can go back in versions. You can see every checkpoint where you entered a prompt and something was generated. Each version is always available. Each version is immutable. You can create another frame next to this frame. You can delete the frame or you can remix the frame. When you're remixing the frame, what happens is this looks exactly as a, as a frame before, but now if you use prompts to change it, you're not going to be modifying the initial frame. You're going to be working on this new frame. It's like a branch. So if you're not sure if you want to keep the changes you're, you're about to make, you can remix, start a new frame, do the experiments, and then if you don't like them, delete the frame. Last but not least, you can always check the balance and see every generation the duration, when it happened, and how much it cost.